Hello, just a quick uh, video. I wanted to show you a couple of the things that I listed on my Etsy last night. Uh, this is my foaming sugar scrub, and this scent is Honey Rock Candy. And I think I talked about this before. It's the blend of the uh, Lush's uh, Rockstar and Honey I Wash the Kids. And I whip this with shea butter and vitamin E, and I use tor uh, raw turbinado uh, sugar as the sugar scrub. Now, for, I just got them taking the uh, pictures um, for my, uh, my my photos for my listings, so that's why it's like mounded up out of the jar. Of course, when you get it, it's going to have a lid on it, but it's easier to kind of display it when you whip it up outside of the jar. It looks prettier too. And then I sprinkled the whole top with a bunch of the, uh, the raw sugar, and those are just some pink... Uh, pink sugar bath salts just to add a little bit of color but yeah when you get it this is an eight ounce tub so it's it's a pretty nice size you're going to get a lot of uh showers out of this and you just dampen your skin take a little scoop out uh, rub it over your skin i like the turbinado sugar because it it lasts a little bit longer than um, like cane sugar that seems to dissolve really fast so you'll get a good uh, exfoliation uh, with this one Back here is a soap, and I haven't had a chance to show this one to you or talk about it. This is frankincense and myrrh, and over the summer I had infused in apricot kernel oil, and um, it was apricot, and what the heck was the other one? Um, oh, cherry kernel oil. And I finally, finally ground frankincense and myrrh resin, uh, and I soaked it in the apricot and uh, cherry kernel oil for several months and when I went to make the soap when I opened up the jar it smelled amazing it infused so beautifully so when I made this recipe I took out of my my regular recipe batch I took out three quarters a cup of the oils and I replaced them with the three quarters cup of the uh, infused oils and the scent is beautiful um, the only color is I added a, just a tad of copper mica and uh added a little bit into the batch and the top has gold gold glitter I don't think it, the camera's going to be able to pick it up but this smells beautiful um, so that'll be a nice Christmas gift frankincense myrrh and gold so I'm really excited about that one those are nice big five plus ounce size bars and last night I was playing around a little bit with um, glycerin soap so I made a few of these cupcakes these are scented in Lush's um, karma so uh, the bottom is um, just the plain glycerin soap uh, with shea butter and then the top I actually made that f uh, frosting I used the whipped soap the same whipped soap like I did in the jars but I added palm oil to it and that'll help to firm it up so you still have like a fluffy whipped top but not enough that when you get it you're gonna have a mess because the palm the palm oil uh, firms it up just enough that I could wrap it and it'll arrive to you safe, but you'll still get the benefits of like a really fluffy whipped shea butter, uh, uh, excuse me, soap. So that'll be nice. And then on top, those little pumpkins have gold glitter. So it smells really pretty. I like them. They really came out cute. And then over here is my pink sugar bath salts. And I thought this was a fun way to display them. I got these little... Um, specimen vials at they are for part of the uh, Martha Stewart collection I got them at uh, where did I go Michael's craft store and they had them on clearance I guess they were meant to be sort of like a Halloween prop you could put jelly beans in them or whatever so I used them for my bath salts and I tied a natural um, Oh, what the heck is that called? Gosh, my mind is, is shot today. I can't think of anything. It's sort of like, it's not hemp. It's just like a natural uh, cording. And I wrapped that around there and added a little coal, uh, gold or copper um, pendant, like a little charm hanging on. It looks kind of pretty. This one I did up for Halloween. I added, just glued to the front of it the spider and the spider web and the skull they're just little uh, plastic confetti so I glued that to the front I thought that really gave a, a cute effect and then this one would just be like a plain one if it wasn't for the holidays with the pink sugar tag and um, this is listed on my Etsy and, and if you were to buy it of course it would have the the roping around it it would have the little charm and it would have the label at Christmas time I'll probably embellish it with some crystal uh, crystal Christmas uh, confetti 
So those are just a few of the things. Oh, and I also list uh, along the lines of the Honey Rock candy. It does not have the exfoliating sugar in it. It's my marshmallow fluff. It's just a really light, fluffy, creamy um, uh, bath whip. And you can just scoop some out into your bathtub and it makes a really nice foam bath. You can just rub it on your damp skin. You can use it as a shave cream or use it with a, a bath puff or a washcloth as a really nice um, bath wash. Uh, lots of shea butter, vitamin E in it, and it smells wonderful. It smells just like marshmallow fluff. So those are just a few of the things I wanted to show you that I had listed. Um, more to come. The frankincense and myrrh I'll have listed tonight, along with these pumpkin uh, cupcakes. But the sugar scrub is already uplisted. The marshmallow fluff is already uplisted. And the pink sugar bath salts. That's Oh, and another thing I wanted to tell you about the bath salts is I also added to them... There's a tiny bit of glitter, not enough that you're going to have a bathtub full of glitter. Um, and those are coneflower petals, and they're so pretty. They're blue, and when they rehydrate in the bathtub, they almost look like little uh, blue feathers floating on the water. They're very, very pretty. So um, I like to use them in the bath salts. So that's what I have listed, uh, the Honey Rock Candy, the Marshmallow Fluff, uh, the cupcakes I'm going to list tonight, the pink sugar bath salts are already listed, and the frankincense and burra also list tonight. Um, all right, I just wanted to give you a heads up. Bye-bye.